My dad could fix anything with a motor. Instead of bringing their cars to a garage to be repaired, our neighbors brought their car to my dad until this work became automated. Advancing technology made my dad feel obsolete. He struggled with feelings of uselessness. He was resigned to reminiscing about the good old days. I have been haunted by calls to my dad in the middle of the day, finding him still in bed because in his own words, there was just no reason to get up. I look around today and I am pained to see too many older adults living in lonely spaces with stores of wisdom and unused toolboxes. And the pandemic has only made matters worse. Too many older adults do not have the internet services needed to stay connected. And if they do have devices, they struggled with basic things like entering passwords or checking email. Many do not understand what a website is or how to safely get to one. They lack ways to reduce feelings of loneliness, to book medical appointments or access essential government services. Research tells us that 36% of all Americans feel serious loneliness, including 61% of young people between the ages of 18 and 25. It started me to wonder, what if we could connect tech-savvy young people with older adults to bridge the digital divide and address this worsening epidemic of loneliness? That's what Connected is all about. I am seeking funding now to launch Connected, a 12-week intergenerational program designed to bring together older adults who have a wealth of wisdom and experience with tech-savvy younger adults who are also lonely and seeking connections. They will learn from each other, establish friendships and connections, benefit from mutual support, adding meaning and purpose to their lives. Connected will provide a community model for bridging both the digital and generational divides. It could be easily replicated in communities throughout Massachusetts and our nation. My dad died two years ago at the age of 89. And sadly, I can only imagine how he would have thrived in this program. As state president of AARP Massachusetts, my passion lies in promoting models where young and old, like my dad, work together to build a stronger sense of social well-being, where they not only have a reason to get up in the morning, but a reason to stay up, to live, and to enjoy each day.